price leadership is a form of uh, collusion that also takes place in an oligopoly in price leadership we would look at what we call tacit collusion which is unsaid unwritten kind of a collusion that takes place between firms and the goal is of course to maximize profits price leadership occurs when a established firm in a market has sufficient market power to effectively determine the price of a particular product and when they do so they charge that price while the other firms then will also follow by charging the same price in this market because the leader sets the price and the quantity at which it will sort of uh, uh, sell the good the rest of the firms then compete with each other on the remaining market share that is left behind but they will only charge the price which is set by the leader a good example was opac where in the opac uh, the cartel uh, saudi arabia was the dominant country which was setting the price and all of the firms within the opac were just simply following the price which was set by saudi arabia an alternative sort of uh, price leadership model is the barometric price leadership this is a situation in which one firm tries out a price increase and then waits to see whether the other firms follow or not if let's say they do follow suit then a new price will be set in the market without the need to uh, you know get into any discussions between the firm because the price is accepted by each and every player however if let's say the other firms feel that the price is too high and or it's not the right time to charge a higher price then the first firm will drop back into line or lose market share they may need to drop the price or otherwise the market share will go down the initiating firm in this case need not uh, be the same one in each round any firm can increase the price in each round and once the price is increased then the firms whether they follow or not will depend on their preference and if they do follow then this becomes the market price otherwise the firm that has increased the price will have to lower the price or lose market share a good example of this is uh, in the domestic air travel market in the USA airlines try to increase price only to see how other firms are reacting and then they try to then lower price if uh, no firm follow suit to conclude collusions can be both uh, tacit or they could be formal both these forms can be illegal because when the firms come together they are charging let's say a higher price to consumer then it is unfair for the consumer because con- competition is curtailed and that is why we have a lot of times regulator uh, sort of uh, putting huge fines on these uh, cartels so that the market becomes more competitive and becomes more fair to the consumers who otherwise will be charged a much higher price